Welcome everyone to our new YouTube channel Materials Conceptual Study. I am thrilled to bring you a comprehensive lecture series dedicated to understanding the intricacies of heat treatment. Heat treatment is a fascinating field that influences the properties of materials, enhancing their strength, durability and overall performance. Throughout this lecture series, we will explore the principles, techniques and applications of heat treatment in great detail. In our first lecture, we will dive into the phases present in iron cementite phase diagram. The iron cementite phase diagram is a vital tool in understanding the behavior of iron carbon alloys during heat treatment. By examining this diagram, we can gain insights into the different phases that form at varying temperatures and carbon concentrations. Before explaining the complex cooling study of this phase diagram, let's throw a spotlight on the phases present in iron cementite phase diagram. One of the most important phases is the ferrite phase which is also known as alpha iron. This ferrite phase is an interstitial solid solution of carbon in alpha iron that has a body centered cubic crystal structure. The interstitial solid solutions are the solid state solutions that form when solute atoms occupy the interstitial spaces. In this ferrite phase, carbon atoms are the solute atoms and they occupy the interstitial spaces between the iron atoms. In the iron cementite phase diagram, this region is the region of 100% ferrite phase where the ferrite phase is thermodynamically stable and its maximum solubility limit of dissolving carbon into the ferrite phase is only 0.025% at 723 degrees centigrade. But this solubility limit of dissolving carbon in the iron phase keeps on decreasing up to 0.00005% as we cool it down to room temperature. And these carbon atoms preferentially sit in tetrahedral interstitial site of BCC unit cell in this ferrite phase. Here you may ask why is that so? Actually the voids in BCC crystals are non-regular or distorted voids. The radius of the tetrahedral void is 0.29 times the radius of the atom, which is greater than the octahedral void in BCC crystal, which is 0.15 times the radius of the atom. As the tetrahedral voids are larger than the octahedral voids, so carbon atom sits in tetrahedral voids in preferences to octahedral voids in BCC unit cell. The second most important phase is the austenite phase which is also known as the gamma phase. The crystal structure of pure iron is body centered cubic at room temperature which is known as the ferrite phase. When it is heated above the 910 degrees centigrade, it undergoes a phase transformation in which atoms rearrange themselves to form a phase centered cubic crystal structure which is known as the austenite phase. This austenite phase is also an interstitial solid solution of carbon in FCC iron and in this interstitial solid solution, carbon atoms occupy the octahedral interstitial positions rather than the tetrahedral voids. Due to this reason, the solubility limit of dissolving carbon into the FCC unit cell of this austenite phase is greater than the ferrite phase. Now you may ask why is that so? The simple answer is the large size of octahedral void. Because the radius of the tetrahedral void is only 0.2 to 5 times the radius of the atom as compared to the 0.414 times the radius of the atom of octahedral void. Thus 
कार्बन आइटम सीड्स इन ऑक्टाहाइडल इंटेस्टिशियल साइड्स इन एफ सी सी ऑस्टेनाइट फेज दिस रीजन बिलोंग्स टू दी हंड्रेड परसेंट ऑस्टेनाइट फेज वेयर इट इज थर्मोडाइनामिकली स्टेबल दिस ऑस्टेनाइट फेज कैन रिजॉल्व अप टू टू पॉइंट जीरो थ्री परसेंट ऑफ कार्बन इन टू इट्स एफ सी सी मैट्रिक्स एट इलेवन हंड्रेड एंड फोर्टी सेवन डिग्री सेंटीग्रेड Now let's have a look at the delta phase which is also known as the delta iron If we slowly cool down the pure iron below its melting point it will crystallize into a phase which has a body centered cubic crystal structure This phase is known as the delta iron The BCC crystal structure of this delta phase is different from the BCC crystal structure of alpha phase that exists at room temperature because the crystal structure of delta phase has larger lattice parameters as compared to pcc crystal structure of ferrite phase this delta phase is also an interstitial solid solution of carbon in bcc iron but it exists in the high temperature region of the diagram this phase is only stable at temperature above 1400 degrees centigrade and start melting at temperature above 1539 degree centigrade because of the larger lattice parameters of this bcc phase its solubility limit of dissolving carbon into its lattice is greater than the alpha phase so the delta iron can dissolve as much as 0.08% of carbon in its interstitial solid solution at 1400 and 92 degree centigrade